Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I also do a lot of astrophotography. I have invested a lot of money in expensive equipment over the last few years and I have also achieved good results. But today I am going to introduce you to a very special smart telescope that has really impressed me. It calls the C-Star S30 from ZWO. As always, we will first start with the specs. Then we will do an image test before we come to the conclusion. If you are interested in an unboxing, you will find it at the end of this video. But for now, let's start with the specs. The new C-Star Smart Telescope comes with a compact tripod, a solar filter for safe solar observations, a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer and a sturdy black carrying case. It is an aperchromatic refractor telescope with a 30mm aperture and a 150mm focal length, giving it an f5 focal ratio. It includes extra low dispersion glass which promises sharp and true color images of the night sky. The telescope features a ASI 6 662MC camera color sensor with a full HD resolution and it has a secondary wide angle lens which can be used for object targeting. The C-Star S30 is an incredible lightweight smart telescope weighing just 1.65 kilograms. It features a 64 GB internal memory card and a 6000 mAh battery that provides hours of operation. The battery can also recharge via USB-C cable even while the telescope is in use. And if you think the telescope is very expensive with all these features, you are wrong. That WO is currently selling it for just $349. That all sounds very good, but we will now find out if the C Star S30 is really as good as that WO promises. If you want to use this telescope, you first have to connect it via the application. It works via Wi Fi connection with the smartphone. This is done relatively quickly. If the connection is done, you can open the telescope arm. It already looks very good. Now we are ready to go and can start searching for objects. On the left hand side you have the option of using stargazing. There you can find nebulas and deep sky objects that are currently visible in the sky. Via solar system you can look at the stars and planets. For example the sun, the moon or Mars. Scenery mode is for photographing or filming objects such as birds or airplanes. Also landscape during the day. You can also track objects. Here you can see a few shots of birds and I took also a photo with it. I have to say that it has a very good quality. What do you think? But now we will come to the interesting photos, the deep sky photos. First we will photograph the Orion Nebula for 40 minutes and see what comes out. As you can see the Sea star automatically searches the nebula using its go to device. As soon as the object has been found the Sea star S30 immediately starts taking photos and stack them internally. You can choose between exposure times of 10 to 30 seconds. You can also choose to save the images individually so you can stack and edit them in another software afterwards. However, I have chosen the automatic version here. As you can see, we can now see a great result after a few seconds. And now here you can see the result after 40 minutes. And here is the same image with the internal AI noise reduction. I think the result is really impressive and I am sure that you can get a lot more out of it with further image and editing. So the next sky object is the Andromeda galaxy. I have running this test for about 38 minutes and what you see now is the unedited picture and as you can see it looks already pretty good. And here you can see the final image that I have edited in Lightroom. The next test is a horsehead nebula, I have run in it for over 2 hours and what we will test now is the AI denoise reduction. This new feature in the app helps to reduce light pollution and background noise while also offering basic editing options like exposure, contrast and saturation adjustments. This makes it ideal for beginners who prefer a quick and easy editing solutions without the needs for expensive software like Photoshop or Lightroom. And here is the result. It already looks pretty good and I can't believe that it works only with the smart telescope and this app. This is the original picture without AI denoise reduction. 
This is the image with AI denoise reduction. And this is the image with AI denoise reduction and a short editing in Lightroom. And here you can see four more deep sky objects that I have captured with the C Star S30. And now we are trying to capture the moon. First we will open the app, then we go to solar system, go to the moon and the app will find the moon automatically. If the moon is in frame, you have the possibility to use the autofocus or manual focus. In this test, I've used the autofocus, but I recommend to use first the autofocus and later to make small adjustments with the manual focus. Because as you can see here, the autofocus pumps a little bit. What you can do now is to choose the magnification. For the first shot, I've used the normal magnification. And here is the result. Now I've choose two times zoom and this is the result. And after that I have used four times zoom and this is the result. And now you can see all three pictures side by side. And for the last test, we were trying to capture the sun. The important thing is here to put the solar filter on this telescope, otherwise your sensor could get damaged. And here we go, now we are trying to find the sun. The sea star makes it automatically and the progress here is the same like finding the moon. First you will see the normal magnification, then 2 times zoom and after that 4 times zoom. Welcome back. As you can see in this test, we have achieved very good result. And to be honest, I didn't expect such good results at such a low price. So what about my conclusion? If you are looking for a way to enhance your views of the night sky without spending a fortune, the Seastar S30 is an excellent smart telescope that gets the job done. Even if you are new to astrophotography, the easy to use Seastar app makes it possible for beginners to engage in advanced stargazing and astrophotography without getting into a step learning curve of how to operate telescope mounts and cameras. Simply use the app to control the telescope, select an object and you will be stargazing in minutes while the S30 does all the work. This compact lightweight telescope provides impressive images of the night sky for its price. This being said, every telescope has its limitations and the S13 is no exception. If you are primarily interested in planetary observation, I would advise you to save your money for a larger aperture telescope. The S30 also offers a lower resolution image compared to other smart telescopes, like its bigger brother, the Seastar S50. Additionally, the tracking mode of the sea star limits its exposure time for deep sky photography to 30 seconds and caused field rotation during longer integration times. Despite these limitations, the sea star S30 is one of the most affordable smart telescopes on the market and perfect for people who want to get into enhanced stargazing and astrophotography without breaking the bank. Even as an experienced astrophotographer, I enjoyed using and reviewing this tiny but mighty smart telescope. And if you are interested in buying it, you will find the link in the description down below. And if you like this test, I would be happy if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time and have fun with the unboxing.